<laughs> oh, I forgot. This is public speaking platform, so I shouldn't really let the PowerPoint presentation do all the talking. My bad. Madam Toastmasters, all the members and guests, hello and a very good evening. My name is Mecca Jain. I am born and brought up in Rajasthan in India. I come from a very small town called Ramganj Mandi, which is in Rajasthan. It gets really hot during the summer and gets really cold during the winters. So I did my primary schooling in my hometown, but we didn't really have good A-level schools. So I was then enrolled into boarding schools and I left home at the age of 15. And since then, I have been visiting home merely just as a visitor during holiday season. So once I finished my schooling, I started applying for university. I applied to university abroad, UK, US, Europe. And it was very much of a fun activity for me because it was okay for my parents to send their daughter away to a boarding school, which is five, six hours away, but they were no, never gonna send me away to a completely different country. So there wasn't anything to worry about. I kept on applying. Got a phone call on a fine afternoon from Plymouth University. Congratulations, you have been successful with your application and we would really like to offer you a scholarship to come over here and study. Wow, thank you very much. I was so pleased to hear that. I shared it with my parents. They were all very happy that their daughter achieved something. That was a gesture of admiration and then that's it. As I said earlier, there wasn't anything for me to worry about. It was very much a fun activity. Went to bed pretty relaxed. Woke up next morning. My dad called me into his office right at the front of the house. I sat down and he said, you haven't really got a passport. You've got to apply for a passport. And what do we really need to do about your admission to university? And that was an earth shattering moment for me. Now, I was just testing the water, but now we're talking about moving to a completely new country. I just put a brave face on and I just said, oh yeah, I know all about it. I can do it all. That's how I really reacted in front of all the rest of the family as well. And then eventually I found myself on my own. And what I did, cried, started shaking. I was doing it as a joke, but now I am moving to a completely different continent where I don't know anybody. I just kept calm. I kept moving forward through, through the process, applied for passports, flight tickets for the first time ever I booked them, applied for education loan, I had scholarship but still I had to pay for some rent and everything still. And then I landed in United Kingdom in September 2008. I still remember very well. I came out of the London Heathrow Airport. I looked around and I can say to myself, I actually do not know anybody around me. And that was the beginning of a new chapter in my life. I learned two lessons from that life experience. Number one, seize the opportunity. No matter how small or the big the opportunity is, just grab it with both hands. Whether that is just making a new friend, meeting new people, going to a different country, or moving across continent, that's fine, just go for it. And second lesson, support your family, friends, loved ones, close ones, whenever they are stepping into doing something completely unknown. You may not have done that before, but that is okay. 
just empower them, show that belief. And that's what my parents did. They had not done anything like that before. And I am absolutely so grateful to them. Thank you very much, Madam Tori.